Did you know that you can use custom visuals in your Power BI reports without importing any custom visuals? Maybe something like this, where you have custom spark lines showing progress against the target line, or perhaps maybe an updated version of our star ratings. Our stars can be partially filled instead of just having a full star or no star. So today we're going to have a look at how you can achieve this using SVG images. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So if you've never encountered it before, SVG is simply a sort of image type, file type, similar to like PNGs or JPEG. But the difference is that SVGs are sort of vector based and how they're drawn is sort of defined in an XML format. This might all sound a bit jargony to you, but just think about it like this. How the image is drawn on your screen is sort of powered by the same markup language that sort of renders how a website is shown on your browser. And for us, this is a great feature because it allows us to modify the properties of images directly into its codes, and it will allow us to bind our data into the image. Let me show you how. So to start, let's define first what an SVG image or file looks like. So I've already downloaded one here. Um, I've saved it in my desktop at the moment. And if I double click it to preview how this looks like, it's basically just an SVG image of a star, which we're going to use in a second. And um, basically, that's what an SVG uh, type file is. I mean, if I open it with, uh, let's say, a notepad, you'll see how this star is drawn in this XML view. So as you can see in this script, it's basically a combination of tags and properties, which means that if you know a little bit about how to work with XML, you'll know how to add properties to kind of change things like colors or fills. But don't worry about that so much. It's just for me to show you how SVG works and how it looks like under the hood. So to use this into Power BI, we'll simply copy the SVG codes We'll open up a Power BI report here. I'll open up a new page um, and I'm going to simply insert a new measure. And I'm going to name this one uh, stars. And within this double quotes, I'm just going to hit enter there. So at the moment, that's not really going to do anything yet. So let's uh, let me just show you quickly how that would look like. So just show the titles um, and then I'm just going to show the stars right there. So here is basically the SVG code in a sort of text format within that measure that we've just created. Now, nothing's happening yet because we need to let Power BI know that the image in, or, or rather the text within this column is an image URL, which is an SVG. So we first need to go back to the measure change the data category into an image URL. So you see now that it recognizes that is an image, it still is sort of broken. And that's because Power BI, while it knows that it's now an image URL, it doesn't really recognize this XML format that we have on the text. And we need to find a way to kind of tell Power BI that this code right here is an SVG type uh, script. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paste this header, um, which this is something that you just copy online and it tells uh, Power BI that this image or this text is an SVG uh, file. So as you can see now, you can see the stars in all of these titles, albeit it's not binded to our data just yet. So now that you know how to insert and use SVG images in your Power BI reports, let's have a look at binding this into your data. Now, if you followed my previous tutorial, so if you saw on our page one, it's basically a resurrection of a previous video I did where we looked at how you can create and show sort of star ratings within Power BI. And uh, if you remember how that worked, we essentially created some sort of uh, looping to generate these stars and create the number of stars that we want 
as gold stars and then the number left which are the sort of not gold stars so for this method it's a little bit more sophisticated and requires to add uh, properties bit by bit into our new svg measure but in the interest of time we're gonna look at a solution that was already created and um, that is available right now and i think this is a really good implementation of stars much better than how we did it in the past so i'm gonna leave a link to their blog posts uh, in the description box below it's called the uh, hat full of data and there's also a youtube channel that you should check out um, because the whole process is really interesting and she goes through the step-by-step -step process of how the logic works uh, on the dax code um, but uh, as i mentioned here is the blog post so it just tells you how how it loops and how it simply adds those uh, different parts of the, the the stars what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the very end here gonna copy the code go back to our report here we'll change the stars to use that script that was that's already created for us hit paste like this um, and then obviously here you can see that there are different variables and I'm going to explain these in a second but for now what we're going to do is we're going to replace this value average rating into our own average rating in our movie ratings so we're going to create uh, average average movie ratings like this multiplied by 100 so this will define how or where the the masking starts and ends um, and actually I'm going to convert this into uh, five stars because I remember that the ratings are out of 10 so I'm going to divide it by two like this so let's have a look at how this looks now so this is the ratings how we implemented it before and if I drag in the new stars now voila so there you go so if I just zoom in here quickly you'll see the difference so here instead of seeing three out of five which is a little bit imprecise now you can have half filled stars within your five star rating making it a little bit more representative of what the rating actually is if we look back at the code here you you might be a little bit confused and probably a little bit lost with what's happening here um, so i suggest you go to the blog post to read about how the approach was taken but to summarize what's happening here it's basically an svg uh, script that they've that she's added the starts which is the the header and then the the closing statement for the svg the gray stars is uh, what is underneath so these ones that are not filled and the gold stars the filled colored stars so there's two sets of these five stars that's been generated on top of each other and what's happening is there's a uh, different masking clip defs which essentially controls how much of the gold stars is being masked in that total width so that calculation and uh, that transformation is already handled for you here and that's essentially what it does let's have a look at another example here by Kerry Colosco I um, mean by the way she has created a lot of uh, templates through her website not just SVG so I suggest you check out her website as well but yeah I'll leave a link to it below um, and here we're gonna look at the SVG templates that she has and uh, she has a few here and uh, it's pretty interesting to, to see how many custom visuals you can use in Power BI without actually importing one. So let's take one here as an example, these progress bars. So here is how the progress bars look like. So you have, you know, progress bar by itself or progress bar against actual with targets. Uh, and she's left the script here of how to create the measures themselves. All you have to do here is to simply replace the values here on the variables for it to work and bind with the data, which is pretty handy and super easy so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the progress bar because I think this is it's for this one the linear progress let's go to a different report that I built this is our uh, super favorite Northwind data sets I'm not gonna go too deep in detail because it's not important what the data set is what's important is um, what's being calculated so I'm gonna just drag in a few measures here so you can see that we have different categories for our sales and then we have a column for all of our total sales and then we have a target uh, measure which I've just created and I just said the target is uh, 150,000 so that we have you know some grouping of who's achieved their target or not um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create a new measure I'm gonna paste the code from Carrie's site so linear progress here and then we'll just change a few values here so the actual is our total sales and then the gross sales target is our target sales you hit enter 
Oh, uh, there's also another one here, which um, I think we can just use the category name here because that um, that's just uh, I'm not sure what that is for. But uh, let's have a look now. Uh, let's make some space for our measure. Uh, don't forget to change the data category into an image URL. So Power BI recognizes it's an SVG. And if you drag it into your table, here you go. So you can now see that SVG custom visual as part of your table. And you can see here, for example, uh, this produce hasn't reached its target. So it's you can see that there is some gray area there. And then here, for example, meat and poultry has has reached that so that's why it's kind of filled and uh, yeah so let's try another one um, just just because I'm curious to see what this one looks like so the bullet one now let's go back to our report here and let's create a new measure for it so again we're gonna just change a few things here so I think don't think I have a plan so I'm just gonna use total sales and then we're going to use for actual total sales again and then target is just the target and i think we need to change this bit as well just the same thing category change the data category into an image url and then let's make some space for it linear gauge and there you go. So you can see that you have your totals and actuals, as well as this red line showing the target value and how far your actual is from it. And that's really it for this video. I hope you are now a little bit more familiar with SVG images and how you can use it in Power BI, bind it into your data, and finally present it into your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.